This video footage is being shot on the Apple iPod Touch on a cold grey winter's day on the Mersey. Essentially, it's the same as the iPhone 4 but without the phone, the contract and the hefty price tag. And this voiceover, along with the rest of the ancillary sound here, is being recorded using the voice memo facility. The reason why I'm telling you all of this is that with the iPod Touch and the iPhone 4, you have the complete recording package to the point where no fishing or for that matter, any other event need ever be missed in terms of sound, still photographs or video, and all from the one pocket sized unit. In addition to the recording aspect of the iPod, it stores and plays music, podcasts, books, films and photographs. And providing you near a Wi-Fi hub, you also get internet, email, weather forecasts and video conferencing with other iPod and iPhone users. And as you might expect from Apple, there are also a whole raft of other really useful apps available, including GPS and route mapping. The video camera shoots in high definition at 720p quality. Unfortunately, the still photograph quality differs from the iPod to the iPhone, with the iPod pic shown here coming in at under 1 megapixel compared to around 5 megapixels for the phone version, which is a pity. So Charlie, good to record a podcast with you. What do you think of the fishing here today? It's very, very slow. Good conditions, a bit bright really, but uh, on the whole, it's uh, a nice fishing day. Just, Just let me stop you there for a sec. Just sort of quantify this word slow. Well, slow as in no fish at all as yet, but we, we live in hope. There is absolutely no reason at all then why any special fishing moments need be missed or not shared, either by screen viewing, uploading onto a PC then onto a DVD, or attaching to an email and sent out via the internet.